Hey, Hickok45 here. Gonna do another video. You can see I've got a trusty old M1A out here. We're gonna take a few shots with it and uh, have just a little fun. Shoot some jugs, shoot a little steel over there on the far range. Of course, can't shoot anything close with a 308 uh, round. Uh, so we're gonna have a little fun this uh, this afternoon with that. And before we start, I wanted to, wanted to thank all my viewers and my subscribers. I, I can't believe 3,000 people have subscribed to my channel. It's just it's amazing to me. You know, a few months ago, I would have not dreamed that that many people would uh, want to come and just watch us shoot on the range here and play around like, like we do. So anyway, big thanks to everybody out there all over the place where we get all of our uh, mails from the guys in Australia and England, uh, Denmark, uh, you name it. So it's kind of interesting to continue our communication. So anyway, I'm going to shoot a big M1A. You know, this is the semi-automatic version. Take a closer look at that baby of the uh, M14. You know, the M14 didn't uh, quite have the romance a lot of the other uh, military, U.S. military weapons have had, uh, mainly because it was never in a big war. You know, it came along at, uh, at the wrong time for it to have that kind of appeal, that panache, I guess you'd say. It was uh, after World War II. I guess it was 57 before uh, I think it was adopted as the official military uh, rifle. I believe it was 1957. And then in the 60s, you know, mid to late 60s, we went to the M16, and so it just didn't uh, have that opportunity to, to win a war for us, did it? But it is really, really nice. If you've never fired one of these, hope you get the opportunity to do it sometime because it, uh, it, it, it's a very light recoiling rifle. It's a very sweet shooter. I've got the M1 Grand as well, and of course this is the upgrade of the M1 Grand, basically. You, know, you have a detachable magazine with this, that you didn't have with the Grand. You know, this holds uh, 20 rounds. And uh, they, they changed the gas system as well. Look, I better take this call just a second. Uh, we can start the video over if we need to. Oh, it's TN Outdoors 9. Hey, TN Outdoors 9, what are you up to? Hey, hey man, what you doing? I'm uh, right in the middle of a video. I guess we'll have to start it over. That's okay. What, oh, you, what do you? Oh, man, I'm sorry. I, well, I realized it was Saturday and I thought, like, well, you probably run the video. I, I'm sorry. Uh, you, what are you doing? You doing a video too? What's that? You doing a video too? I'm, I was going to, yeah. Oh, huh? um, I got to set up some targets. I'm down here in the woods. I'm on the range. Uh -huh. And uh, I hadn't been down here in several days. You know, you know down here at the end of the road where we set up the rifle targets? Yeah, I remember. Okay. So, somebody has installed a satellite dish over on the other tree. Somebody? Not you? No, not me. You must have a Department of Homeland Security watching you, man. <laughs> you better get rid of that thing. That's not very funny. No, it wasn't me, I promise. It wasn't me. Well, I mean, I was just down here a couple of weeks ago. I don't think anybody comes down here, uh, you know, when I'm not uh, here. But it's, it's hooked up. It's got cable ties on it. And it's got a line right down in the woods. That's, that's uh, it's up there. Some moon shiners. Maybe some moon shiners. Well, you better, did you take a ladder or a shotgun or something? Get rid of it? Well, uh, I tell you what, can you hold, I hate to bother you, can you hold on a second? Yeah, yeah, go ahead. What are you going to do? Okay. Hold on, hold on a second. Okay. Hold on. <laughs> I wonder what he's going to do. Yeah, we're here. Okay, hold on. I'm, I'm going to take care of it. Hold on. <laughs> this is going to be good. We better be looking at our trees. <laughs> <He's>, <laughs> yeah, it sounds like a shotgun. What'd you do? Blow it out of the tree? Hold on, I'm not done yet. Hold on. <laughs> oh man, TN Outdoors 9's a nut. Did you hear that? Yeah, yeah. What'd you do? Blast that out of there? It, it's done, man. It's done? <laughs> yeah. Oh man, I can't believe it. Well, I hope you find out who put it up. I don't know. It's, it's, it's done. Okay. Hey, what? Hey, I'm, I'm sorry to bother you. Okay. Yeah. That, I'll check up with you later. Okay, I'll talk to you later. We're doing a video. Okay, good luck with it. Okay, man, take care. <laughs> okay, all right. All right, say later. I am a crazy guy. Oh, man. Well, I don't know. Maybe we'll just leave it in the video. I can't believe someone put a satellite dish up uh, down there where he shoots. Ah. Well, anyway, back to the video. Uh, as I was saying, this is the M1A, the semi-automatic version of the uh, M14. 
the M14 again was uh, kind of between wars and a lot of people are not that familiar with it uh, like it's probably not in as many museums you know uh, uh, featured like the Garand or the M16 or the old R3 Springfield uh, the old trap doors any, any of those guns but People who've shot it uh, love it. It's a pri I think it's the primary rifle of the Navy. They carry these on their ships. It's used by a lot of squads, you know, in various military uh, units. In fact, uh, just for something that's a little bit more punch than the, the 223. I think uh, somebody on each Navy SEAL team carries one, if I'm not mistaken. Sweet, sweet gun. Now this one's not fully automatic. It, again, it's the semi-automatic version, and we're just going to take a few shots with it. Uh, has a lot of punch. As I was trying to show you, it does shoot the 308 round, which uh, you know, the 762, which has a lot of uh, a lot of punch to it, and uh, doesn't kick a lot though. If you have never fired one of these, and I've had the FNs, uh, the Galil and 308, what else? I had some thing made in Finland, Denmark, some big battle rifle years ago with a carry handle. It was in 308, but this thing shoots uh, softer than they do, and just a lot of fun to shoot. So what I'm going to do here is we put a few jugs up again, some water jugs, and uh, we shoot just a little bit of steel. I'm not going to shoot a, a, a vast amount, maybe two or three mags here. Just I know it's a gun that uh, that I I did shoot the lawnmower up with it, I think, but I just sort of shot it up and that was it. Just wanted everybody to get a good look at it. You see down that, uh, that receiver there, you got those big 308 rounds, 20 of them. So nice gun. Let's just uh, sling a little bit of these uh, bullets over towards the range. Do something kind of close here. You notice the safety is right there on the trigger guard. Push it forward, it's ready to go. Just like this. Let's get one more right there. <laughs> Let's go across the hill. I may not hit anything, but I'm going to try. Got a bowling pin. Magazine. We don't have as many really neat rifle targets, I guess. What I was shooting at, well, bowling pins, you can see still swaying a little bit, and we have uh, four or five targets over there of very, very thick steel, and uh, they're all shot up. We've been shooting at them for about 25 years now with uh, high powered rifles occasionally. And they're all pockmarked up and full of craters and basically destroyed, but they're still hanging together. We don't shoot any of the animals or any of the, the nice targets with, uh, with a center fire rifle. So not a lot of steel targets to shoot at with it. So I'm going to come back here at close range and just shoot some water jugs. All right, let's see what we've got. Get that big one in the center there. Two with one shot. Oh, there's one up on the rail. Oh, there's one on the pallet. There's a paint can. Maybe I can hit that paint can without destroying the target stand. <laughs> Let's go across the hill again. Safety on. Woo, getting hot. Okay. You notice we have a few gallon jugs lined up there, kind of like bowling pins. So let's finish off with those.
still not dead. Nice, nice, nice. See what she looks like empty. No bullets in the magazine. Catch that steam coming off the barrel. A little bit of oil there. Baking. So, M1A, uh, 308, got the old stock on it. Of course, it came with a composite stock. But uh, just a nice old gun. I've never had this gun to malfunction in the, I don't know, 15 years I've owned it. It uh, just cranks right on. Just throws a big bullet and it's fun to shoot too. So, just thought I'd give you a little look at this evening at the uh, another classic rifle uh, used by our troops actually today and, uh, and used for many years. I guess it's been, uh, yeah, more than 50 years this thing's been in use and it still is in use. So, M1A, semi automatic version of the M14. Glad y'all come shoot with us today.